welcome to our week five videos. We are working on exam prep part six today, and we're going to start with a discussion about uh, decentration, horizontal lens decentration, page six. Example A is showing us a pair of glasses. We have a perfectly round lens uh, labeled at an A measurement of 44, our bridge of 20, uh, and then again, other side we are at 44. Um, we're gonna need our A plus our uh, DBL to give us the um, total frame PD. Uh, we would also call this the GCD, the geometric center distance of the glasses. So we won't need uh, both A measurements. We're just gonna need uh, one side, uh, that's going to tell us exactly where the center of one lens is to exactly the center of the other. Uh, All together then, the PD or uh, GCD of our frame uh, is 64 millimeters. In the example A, they're actually showing us that the patient's PD or where the patient's eyes sit in the glasses um, is exactly 64 uh, as well. So in this particular example, um, they're actually saying that this is the perfect frame for our patient. Uh, there would be absolutely no decentration required uh, in example A. However, uh, in example uh, B, they're actually showing us that our patient has a PD of uh, 60 instead of 64. So we've got the same frame, we just have a patient who is slightly smaller. Um, the measurements that we are looking for or the amount of decentration is really the difference between the frame's measurement and our patient's measurement. We see this uh, happen uh, almost daily as we help our patients choose glasses. Um, that we are decentering lenses, um, and just like this particular case, uh, decentering uh, those lenses in to meet the patient because our frame uh, is bigger than our patient. So we have to move the lens, the geometric center of the lens, um, away from the geometric center of the frame um, so that we can line that optical center up. Uh, with the patient. Um, now on this page, they do refer to the optical center as the major reference point. So again, major reference point uh, that equals optical center. Uh, so that would be um, another uh, important piece of information to note. Uh, let's go ahead and flip to uh, the example page. Uh, where they have us do a few practice exercises. So we're on page 17. Um, let's go ahead and just do uh, one of the examples uh, for a little bit of uh, decentration practice. Uh, example number one says that we have an A measurement of 54. We have a DBL of 16 and the patient's PD is 62. Again, we need to calculate our frames PD or the geometric center distance. We need to add our 54 uh, plus our 16. Um, again, we're going to pop that calculator up and take a look. 54 plus 16 equals 70. So we have a frame PD or GCD of 70 millimeters for our frame. We're comparing this then to our patient at 62. So we would say 70 minus 62. Better safe than sorry. So 70 minus 62 on the calculator gives us a difference of eight millimeters. So we've got that difference So we have our frame minus our patient. Um, 
we have a difference of eight millimeters. That would be total. So eight millimeters total decentration. And then we have, um, if we we're talking per eye for um, in uh, per eye in this particular example. So we've got uh, horizontal decentration. Again, we're comparing uh, the frame to our patient uh, and we're using uh, the A and DBL to determine the size of our frame. Um, and then uh, we're given the patient's PD. If you have any questions about horizontal decentration, feel free to give me a call. Thanks.